Today I'm going to teach you how to get sub 150 on Megaminx. So for the star, I recommend you learn the full color scheme for Megaminx and during inspection to uh, find all the five star pieces. So I see one, two, three, four, and five. And try to find more efficient ways to put the star pieces in the right spot. So I see one, and you see over here, the white and purple. The white red here. But instead, I could do the white blue first. And then do the white red. Then I could put the white yellow up here by doing something like this. And the green white needs to go up here. So for F12, I don't really have any specific tips for F12. But one major tip for F12 I want to give you is to uh, improve your efficiency. So I see this red green. What I can do is something like this. And instead of just doing a lot of moves to put it here. What I can do is do something like this. And that saves some moves. Now I see white, purple, and green. This one's right here. What I can do is do something like this. And create an, a pair. Then insert right here by doing something like this. Now for the yellow and blue, I will um, make an F12 pair with this and this. So I could do something like this. Then I could uh, move this right here and this right here. Like that. And for the red and blue, this one, and this one. So what I'll do is something like this. And for the final one, this and this. And as we can see, F12 solved. So for S12, you need to get used to your order. And during, after you finish F12, I recommend you to pause for a moment and look at all the pieces you're going, to be, you're going to use for your first color for S12. So I see these two. Now for the blue. And as we can see, S12 is solved. So for OL, you just need to orient the edges and then the corners. And you basically know that from a 3x3. Three three. So we're just going to orient the edges, like how you do on a 3x3. Three three. And 
Now for orienting the corners, instead of just doing an R prime, D prime, R, D all over again, what you can do instead is rotate the key like this, then do an R prime, D prime, R, D on this side, like this. It's more easier that way. And it's a bit hard to get used to. Once you get used to it, your time starts to uh, descend a lot. Then do an L, orient the corner, L, until you have OL solved. Now for PLL, we're going to be learning more algorithms. So here's one case. You have two adjacent edges permuted. And you need to permute the last three. This one needs to go here. This one needs to go here. This one needs to go here. This is the algorithm that you use. R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime. So that's just a simple JB perm, but without the U prime at the end. Now if you get this case for uh, printing the edges, when you have two adjacent edges here, and to permute the other edges, this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here. Hold it, hold a mega like this, then do this algorithm. F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. So that's just a simple Y perm. Now if you get this case, when you have two opposite edges permuted, and to permute the last three edges, this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, do this algorithm. R2, U2, R2 prime, U, R2, U2, R2 prime. And as we can see, all the edges are permuted. Now if we get this case when you have two opposite edges permuted, but to permute the last three edges, this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, this one needs to go here, do this algorithm. R2, U2 prime, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U2 prime, R2 prime. And as we can see, all the edges are permuted. Now to permute the corners, it's just like what you've learned when you want to get sub 3 on Megaminx. So we use two commutator out. One is to take out the corner, which is R prime, D prime, R. And we look for the place that the corner needs to go. Then we use the algorithm to put it in the right spot. So we use R prime, D, R. And we do that for the rest of the corners. and your Megaminx is solved. So that is it for my tutorial on how to get sub 150 on Megaminx. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.